Hello YouTubers, Supreme Dragon here, one half of Hidden Dragon, coming at you with the Breakers of Shadow case recap. Don't forget to like, subscribe buttons down below. Check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Make sure to check out the links down below for Big and Collectibles, which is where this was purchased from, along with Facebook, eBay, and Locals uh, Facebook page. So, I got a lot, like supers, I range anywhere between 12 and 19 of, so that's four to six play sets. Ultras were three to six of, so that was one to two play sets. Secrets, I pretty much figured out of a case you'd get a play set of each. I ended up getting uh, two of them I had two of, two of them I had four of. So set those off to the side, and we'll start going through the big stack here. So for a Pendulum Storm, one, two, three, four, four five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12. 12 copies of Pendulum Storm, which will come in handy if and when Wavering Eyes gets banned and or limited. So Master Pendulum Draco Slayer. Also 12 of. Uh, Dino Mist Rex. Thirteen, my lucky number. <laughs> uh, Chimera Tech Rampage Dragon. Was a fourteen of. Uh, Dharma Eye Magician. Was a 15 of. All in all, uh, next up is uh, Sword Troopers. All in all, the ones I really wanted to see the most of, I actually saw the most of, and the ones I wanted to see the least of, with the exception of Draco Slayer. This was also a 15 of for Sword Troopers. With the exception of the uh, Master Pendulum Draco Slayer, every, all the supers were pretty much as expected. Uh, 15 of Magic Spectre Toad. Uh, next up is Ariadne. Overall, out of a case, you get 216 super rares. Uh, Ariadne was 16 of in the case. So that is one reason why prices on super rares are so low because you get so many of them so fast in a case which is also why um, Twin Twisters is the most expensive super rare at about six to seven dollars a piece. Uh, Buster Welp was a 16 of. So, definitely got enough to make plenty of decks out of all this stuff. Uh, Magic Spectre Supercell. Was 17. Twin Twisters. was also 17. Would have liked to see one more so I'd have made it in a complete six play sets. Uh, next up is Red Eyes Retro Dragon. Seventeen of Uh, 
Uh, next up is Tuning Magician. Also 17 of. And 19 of uh, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. That was the one I, we saw the most of. So that does it for our super rares. Ultra rares, like I said, was anywhere between one to two play sets. So we got three of the Black new Black Luster Soldier. So if you're planning on playing the Black Luster Soldier deck, you'll want to pick those up. Uh, Shiranui Spectral Sword, we got a total of four of. For Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, also, <clears throat> excuse me, also a four of. The new Buster Blader was a one, two, three, four, five. So I got five of that one. Just missed a double play set on it. Uh, Quaking Mirror Force, one, two, three, four. Also a five of. Uh, if you're planning on playing um, like Luna Lights or uh, the uh, bug archetype coming out in Shining Victories, I forgot what the, the digital bugs, or anything that can give uh, piercing damage, you may want to tr uh, hold on to one or two of these. Will flip all your opponent's monsters into face down defensive defensive position permanently, and then you can just keep swinging through with piercing damage. Uh, for Buster Dragon, two, three, four, got five of Buster Dragon. Uh, Enlightenment Paladin was was a five of. Nepta Abyss. Well, I know a lot of uh, Marvel players are looking forward to this card. Uh, five of the most expensive ultra rare in the set at about nine dollars a copy. Uh, Shiranui Shogun Saga was a six of. So two play sets of that, and Tan Can was also a double play set. It was six of them. So that's not too bad. I'm pretty sure Cosmos were running that one now. And for secret rares, like I said, out of a case, I expected to get a play set of each one. Pretty much got that ratio. So we got two Dark Eclipsers. Well, I'll kind of so you can see what the picture actually looks like on that. We got two of those. Uh, two of the Fusion for Buster Blader. Which looks really good, and this would have looked really nice as an ultimate. Uh, Cosmojo got three of them. Uh, ultimate Providence was also a three of. I think this one is going to eventually come into play, especially when like Solemn Strike or things like that get knocked down. Try picking these up and or holding on to these if you can. Uh, Trap Tricks Reflasia, this is one we had four of, so that wasn't too bad. $20 secret rare. So, four of her. And now for the big three. Three Infinity, which was really nice to see. Though you only really play one, so got two for sale. That'll be on eBay. Solemn Strike. This was one of the ones we got four of, which I was very happy about. I uh, would have rather this have been a fourth Pendulum Wizard, but mm, I'll take four Solemn Strikes. So I'll have a couple of those on eBay later. And finally, the much needed three of Pendulum Sorcerer for uh, Pepe slash Draco Pals. So, that is the recap of our uh, 
Breakers of Shadow case opening. Don't forget, like and subscribe buttons are down below. Be sure to leave a comment with what you thought of the case uh, opening and recap. Uh, check us out on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays for all of our Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Check out Big End Collectibles. Big thanks to them for uh, the two box crates that they did. And uh, this is Supreme Dragon of Hidden Dragon signing out.